All right, Jibbers, quick work round. Uh, got a bunch of these Toshiba cells. I tested one pack. They come out to 2,300 milliamp hours, and that's the one I shared on the old Facebooks the other day. Um, they're on eBay at the moment with a $1 starting bid if anybody's keen. Um, I am not posting them. Pick up only. Brisbane, Australia. These cells that we tested the other day that we tapped together, someone suggested that I actually test them because what I found out is I got a bunch more cells. There's about five or six hundred in there, five or six hundred batteries, and then a lot of them are new old stock. And as it turns out, the one pack that I opened doesn't appear to have ever been used. I was quite shocked that they come out with 2300 milliamp hours. That said, I don't think they're any good still. I, I, I still firmly stand behind what I said, but what I'm going to do is I've got an Opus here that I haven't been using for a long time because I can't be bothered processing any cells. So I have already cycled these about 10 times, and if I cycle them four to five times a day for the next couple of months, I'm going to see how well they actually hold up. Let's see if that's a good test. On a side note, I'm actually getting two, about 100 milliamp hours higher at night than I am during the day interesting fact probably because the opus is hotter or colder so it's going to be a test over a long period of time i'm taking a photograph of of the of the um the values every single time i get done and we're going to see how they turn out yes i'm not happy you better prove me wrong what i might also do is dead short one of these and cut it open have a look inside and then i'll leave the other one as a control so when i get to the end of the test i've got one good one all right, we've got some more toys that have arrived in the last few weeks I haven't charmed too many people about. Got myself a new Intel NUC, which makes all of this much, much, much more usable. I used to have to do that, and it used to take minutes just to change the screen. And if I click it right, there we go. So the new NUC is going to help me a lot down the shed. The problem is it's getting warmer now, so it's getting hot. So I've got my fans. And then I bought a box of these hole saws because it was cheaper to buy a box of hole saws than it was to buy a single one. And that should be big enough to fit those fans. So I'll drill some holes in the fan and then I'll do me batrium fan thing with the, the solenoids and stuff built in. I have got some LED stripping. So the plan is to put the LED stripping all over the roof on both of the sheds. I probably will need more and then run some door switches so every time I open the doors the lights turn on I've got a what's that 48 to 12 volt step down and then I've got a 12 to 24 for some reason so that'll run the lights that'll run the fans and if I get a 12 volt to 19 volt it'll be able to run the knuck as well I've got a bit more of the bra braiding so it's nice and clean and tidy and we've got a new PIP 4048 MS. So when ordering the other PIP, I completely forgot about ordering the um, the parallel kit for it. So that's still got to come in the mail for that. Now, the next problem is, I guess, is space. I've got the NUC sitting up here nicely, and that's where it weren't running really well. And if I buy some shorter cables, I should be able to tidy that up a lot. I should be able to buy some shorter USB cables. Um, but I believe we've got some in enhancements to come for everybody for the Watchmon toolkit. So that should be being released in the next few weeks, I think, um, which is gonna make this even neater and tidier. Again, I'm gonna be able to get rid of some more cables, which is gonna be great. So I don't know what I'm gonna do out here. I'm probably gonna have to ditch that and just run the two pips with the solar coming into them. Um, I might have to move that pip sort of over to there and maybe a little bit higher and then put the new pip sort of here and either I was thinking about putting another 10 kilowatt of panel, uh, 10 kilowatt of um, batteries on that shed wall, and then maybe around the corner here, put all the electronics and stuff. Maybe maybe put the computer and all that sort of stuff. And I got the the mount there, so I might be able to mount the the monitor sort of over the top somehow. I don't know. Anyway, tubers, that's where I'm at. That solar diverter is working like nothing else that is saving me a fortune that's probably saving me more money than all these batteries on a 24-hour period so tubers that's a quick one and i'll see you on the next one thank you